Okay, here we go. Here's a Miss Pac-Man board. Uh, it uses the same components. This is actually just a regular Pac-Man board with some added features or added components. It has the, the sync bus controller that sits here, your VRAM addresser, four ROMs. I've taken one out here. I'll show you why in a minute. Our four ROMs. These are, these are Pac-Man ROMs. Okay, I've actually replaced these two. I found a, there's a free play mod that you can do. So I've burned the free play ROMs so that you don't have to put a quarter in or coin it up or anything like that. The character ROMs are different. So over here, these two are different, right? Because Miss Pac-Man has a different maze, a different uh, different character. Like Miss Pac-Man has a bow and stuff like that. The other thing that's added on, if you notice here, our processor is missing. I've took, taken this off so you can see that processor's not there. Okay, it's actually installed on this board, this daughter board. Okay, so what we have here is now we've got three extra ROMs that are 2532 ROMs. That's what you'll see on a Pac-Man board is a 2532. Okay, uh, we've got two and then we've got this one here, which is a 2716. Okay, that one ROM there, so it's actually a different model. Okay, it's 2532s and then the 2716. Some added circuitry to, to steer the code around or whatever. So the CPU is actually moved to this board now. Some problems that you'll see with Miss Pac-Man's is this cable. This cable is a, you know, uh, these break all the time on old boards. Now, to be fair, I'm sure Midway did not expect, you know, somebody in 2019 would still be using uh, this equipment. These were made to make money. And once the operator had uh, made a profit, you know, change the game to something else or get rid of it or whatever. So they didn't expect anybody to, to be repairing this long. So, you know, we, you end up with socket problems and things like that. And this cable, I ordered this one from uh, Twisty Wrist Arcade. He makes these up. Uh, there's other companies as well. So you can, a, a quick way to troubleshoot that is if your game is glitching or uh, restarting all the time or whatever, you know, if you wiggle this cable, it's going to be, you're going to find out pretty quickly if that's the problem because the game will start to restart. Okay, so that's the, that card there. One thing you'll see, this is a, an original Pac-Man ROM. Notice these ones here, uh, as I talked about earlier, they have a little window here where you can erase them. This is called a mask ROM. Uh, the code is actually you know, embedded into the chip as it's made in the factory. So it's not something that can be burned. Okay. And what I see a lot of times on these and uh, these, the, the custom chips that, they, that uh, Namco and Midway used, uh, the legs are always black and really corroded uh, and a lot of times falling off. You know, they're busted because they're so corroded because of, I believe it's because of the dissimilar metal. And the socket has one type of metal and if this has a different metal, uh, they corrode. You can clean them. Uh, you can use a fiberglass brush to clean them. I, with these mask ROMs like this, if I can, I don't. I just, I just burn a new one. But you know, we try to save the old stuff if we can. So you can use your fiberglass brush, and you can just go in there and polish the legs. But you've got to be careful. The means are flimsy. Remember, this is from 1980, and earlier games, you know, from 1979. You're dealing with some old stuff, so. You can kind of go through and polish that, and a lot of times, you know, that's a, a good fix if you've got a game that's got uh, graphic glitches, for instance. You know, some of the, the sprites on the screen are, are, have funny lines. A lot of times, just going through and pulling out the uh, the ROMs, if you can figure out which one that is for that that job, you can go in there and polish those up. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but anyways, I'm going to replace that. Anyways, I'm going to burn a new one. I'm, I have a sneaky suspicion that that's the problem with this board, uh, because I've got it. I've got this part stable, but now it's resetting, and uh, I kind of think it's that chip, so I'll burn a new one. Good, and as you can see here, uh, this edge connector is pretty funky. Somebody's done a, a weird repair there, and that's an example of what can happen when you get resistance. This is the ground connection here and here, and if it builds up resistance, it's going to build, it's going to get heat, and the heat is going to burn the board, right? So I don't even, I'm going to try to I'll see if it still works. If not, I'll have to go in and uh, do my my repair trick here with the edge connector. I don't like to do that, but better that than than have the you know the game not be stable, right? So you go through and polish all that up, and that works. Uh, some other things that you might see um, is there's a thing called the crystal. Uh, all computers will have some sort of uh, thing like this. This is the crystal, and it's circuitry uh, pro provide the clock 
right? On, on a computer, anything that's computer related has a clock. Everything is done to a, you know, synchronized to a clock and a clock cycle. On many boards, this is actually sitting vertical like this. This, you were actually smart and light, and, you know, this one's lying down. Uh, I've seen lots of boards where that's busted right off. And of course, you're, nothing's gonna work if there's no clock. Uh, the other thing I look for, let's flip this board over. I look for previous repairs. I don't see any on this, uh, which is good. Um, you know, these boards are old. You're going to see the odd, you know, you're going to see repairs on them and stuff. I always check out the old repairs and maybe take a multimeter and make sure there's continuity on it and things like that. Okay. So this board looks really good. The bottom is actually in pretty good shape. So the edge connector, though, is a bit of a mess. So we'll have to address that for sure because we want the games to to work as long as they can.